Yo, this is your boy, The Chef, the owner of the Gundam Kitchen. I'm here with my man. Brax, man, a.k.a. Gundam Nerd on uh, social media. The only one, which is uh, Instagram, is uh, at Gundam Nerd, period, and that's it. And this is our new channel, Real World. Gunpla. Hell yeah, we speak of, we're going to be talking about real stuff on here. Yeah, straight up. It's going to be straight up. And we come up with the first thing right now, you plastic hoarders. Mm. Super plastic hoarders. We're talking about you uh, out there. That's right. That's right. You know what we're talking about. Y'all backloggers. Like, like, you know you have a problem with your backlog if. You can't fit nothing in your closet no more. Mm. Ain't no room for clothes. All your clothes is in your bedroom mm. and this is boxes in your closet. Mm. You took the door off the closet so you could display, display all your boxes. That's craziness. Stop it. Yeah. Another thing is, uh, okay, you know you have a problem with hoarding if you have more kits in your backlog than your local uh, hobby shop within a 50 mile radius. I've seen people, basement, just racks look like my store. Craziness. Yeah. And a problem. I got a couple of friends that have, uh, you know, honestly, their, their uh, backlog weighs more than their kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you put everything on there, they, like they, their backlog, you put on a scale, it weighs more than all of their kids put together. And then these backlogs mess up your marriages, y'all. Y'all sneaking shit in the house. True. Gotta be all slimy, keeping stuff True. in the car. Right, right. I've seen it. A couple of my good friends had to do that, yeah, and that's yeah, yeah. and that's kind of tough. You know. Open up I mean? the windows in the basement, slide it in, get it a day later. Mm. Act like it was mail that got sent right. to you. You mail it to yourself. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. y'all gotta do something about that, man. We gotta help y'all. So first thing, think about a day. To build each of them kits, man. We're gonna help you some breakdown on days. What's the first day? What's Monday? Uh, we we'll make Mondays master grade Mondays. Boom, there you go. Uh, Tuesdays. Tool Tuesdays. Tool Tuesdays. Get uh, your tools up so you can keep working throughout the week. Make sure uh, your tools are straight. How about Wednesdays? Wednesdays? You know it's gotta be wing Wednesdays. Hey, I'm not talking about them hot wings. We're talking about Gundam wings. Talking about Gundam wing. Everybody's favorite around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thursdays. Thunderbolt Thursdays. Thunder actually the best. Thunderbolt Thursdays is actually pretty cool, man. Yeah. You can get some cool stuff out of that. This is just these are just ideas. Stuff that you can do, you know, to get rid of your backlog. Yeah. You know? Because uh oh yeah, and uh Fridays is for who? Fetty Fridays. Oh you Federation cats. Mm, Fetty Fridays. We're gonna have something for the Zeon folks. We're gonna have something for y'all heavy Zeon folks, but for right now. We're going to leave Friday for the Fetties. And like Brax was saying, you know, just just motivate yourself to try to build something every night. And then Saturday, what can you do again? Shop. Yeah, That's start all over thing. again. That's how poison, man. <laughs> you got to spend the money. You know what I'm saying? See, that's what you need to do. Okay, this is what happens, right? You start building up your backlog, right? Okay, the backlog, having the whole idea of having a plethora of kits to go through is badass. That's all good, right? But what happens in time is that backlog starts to, to depreciate. The more newer kits that you get, or the more you start to add on, the more the older kits that you got, just, you know, not only do they collect dust, but in, that, but in your head, they collect dust. And you're looking at really good kits and, like, badass kits. Some can even be P. Bandai. Some can be any kind of kit that you want. But you're looking at them, and they're not moving. And... The more kits that you get, this is where you become a hoarder. Not where you know, not you know, not because you want to collect all of the dope stuff and everything else like that. But it's from like you collect and you collect and you don't even build. You have to build at one point. You know, that's the problem. Break yourself out. Y'all think it's like some amazing accomplishment to have this closet full of plastic, right. but you ain't build nothing yet. I mean, of course, get on your grind for bragging rights. You win. You got it. You know. <laughs> Okay, you got it. Me, if you ever need a backlog destroyed, send all your kits to me. I'm a backlog killer. That's what I do. You know? I can't see him stand around, man. You did I, time in the county for that, didn't you? Yeah, I did like four years in the county, man. Seriously. <laughs> Had to shank somebody with a sprue. Mm, it wasn't the same, man. They wouldn't even give me a spork, man. I kept on building. <laughs> I, you know, I had scratch. I had to stop with that. But for real, clean them kits up. Either start building them 
or start giving them away. Find some young buck who wants to get started. Give them that old ass high grade wing kit you got. You yeah. can build on that ever. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, and you can always and believe me. You can feel free to contact us to ask us if the kit was worth anything, because I have damn near literally built, literally built everything. I built all, almost everything. Trust me. Trust me. So you can call and be like, yo, Brax, what do you think about this kit that's right here? And I'm going to say, uh, all right, you're probably going to run into some trouble around the shoulders. Most of all, you'll like the kit. Paint it up, and by the time you put all of the paint and stuff on it, all that stuff will tighten up. Boom. Hit me back. Peace. <laughs> and that's usually how it goes. Yeah, but jump in there. You know, they sit and collecting dust. You might not build them up before you die, so get in there and start building them. Or, you know, we got that swap meet coming up this weekend. So you can switch them out right there. Ah. Trade trade them out. Do something. Just See. get rid of them. Get them moving. See, you spoil the people that you yeah, shop. Yeah. Like, we get swap meets. I mean, I'm not sure if y'all do that at, you know, at your, uh, <laughs> what, what do these guys got? Like Hobby Town or uh, yeah. Hobby Town. Some stuff. Luckily for us, we got... You know, we have a uh, a good shop where we could actually go and trade stuff. Kits, weapons, stuff that you don't want, stuff that's been sitting around for years that you know, you know, it doesn't have any value to the real world. It only has value to us. We're the only ones that care about it because this is what we do. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And plus, you guys are already on all them different blogs and stuff and groups. Hit somebody up, but yo, I got this, this, and this. You want to trade? You know you're not going to build that, so you trade for some one nice kit. Reduce okay. and get better stuff. That's right. So, all in all, backlogs, to sum up all of the days, like Master Grade Mondays and Tool Tuesdays and Wing Wednesdays and Thunderbolt Thursdays and Fetty Fridays, we've come up with a name for it. Backlog Appreciation Week. You know? Give them backlog some love. That's right. That's right, y'all. Don't do it. Don't let them sit around until they become nothing to you. Trust me, because if they become nothing to you, you can always send them to me. I'll build them. All right, y'all. It's the chef. Catch me on Facebook, The Gundam Kitchen, Instagram, The Gundam Kitchen. And guess what? Got a webpage, The Gundam Kitchen, and a store, Millennium Hobbies, and The Gundam Kitchen. So if you're in New Jersey, South Jersey, see us. And you can catch me on Instagram. I am Gundam Nerd. You'll find me on there with all my pictures. And sometimes I might pop up live with a, I don't know, with, you know, might be doing something. I might be building or doing whatever. Airbrushing or just having general conversations, taking all questions. You know, that's what we do over here. So thanks for tuning in to Real World Gunpla. Peace. Next time on Real World Gunpla. We'll be talking about holiday gift ideas for you and your favorite builders. You'll meet Tim the Tool Man. And we'll also be talking about the struggle builders. Struggling. Last time we talked about the basic builders. This time we're going to be covering struggle builders. Real World Gunpla, we out. Out.